Okay, that's a wonderful segue. I mean, the final segment of this interview, we're running out of time, but um, yeah. I'm a huge fan of Ragtime. I mean, I watched The Sting. I love Scott Joplin. I just really quickly, and I know you've done a little bit of research on this. Who did, did Scott Joplin study and Tom Turpin? Who did they study with? Yeah. Did they, do we have any evidence that they had a little bit of formal music education? Yeah, absolutely. So Tom Turpin, um, I, I couldn't find out um, who exactly was Tom Turpin's teacher. There's There are some... Uh, uh, Ernst Ernst Bornemann, uh, um, he in in one of his articles says that Tom Turpin, the t- two Turpins, the Turpin brothers, they had uh, German teachers, and um, that was very common in Missouri at the time in the you know after Civil War, uh, late nineteenth century. Um, and Scott Joplin had had um, very likely he had German teachers. Um, the first one was uh, Julius Weiss. And um, and the second one, I suspect he, he had uh, private lessons, but it's not it's couldn't be absolutely confirmed. But there was a, a meeting he had with Alfred Ernst, one of the first uh, conductors of the St. Louis Symphony Orchestra. And um, so what I did was like for that's more like this research like that I'm doing for my my Ph.D. dissertation, which is uh, about the influence of uh, 19th century European music theory on early jazz. And um yeah, so uh, Joplin uh, possessed uh, the manual of counterpoint by by Yadasson. So that was when I when I did my jazz, you know, my well, jazz. How do we so uh, we we know he had in his possession a textbook on counterpoint? Uh, yeah, uh, Rudy Blesch. Uh, he he talks about that. You know, Rudy Rudy Blesch, uh, the great 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 researcher and one of the first you know researchers to to start the ragtime revival probably. Uh, he um, he had access to um, Joplin's uh, estate, and and unfortunately, um, it's it has it had it was you know like it is in New York some, somewhere it was stored somewhere and then it got lost. You know, people probably moving threw it away. But um, that's also a guest of honor. Uh, Joplin's second opera is unfortunately is lost, and it, I, we did we still don't know if it got lost in the copyright office or what exactly happened. Uh, uh, my my friend and um you know a fellow researcher uh, great the great researcher um at ed, ed berlin he he researched about it uh, really to great great deal about it and and wrote about it in his great book about joplin but um but about the training so about the training i i, I couldn't find anything about the music theoretical training of the early you know ragtime musicians uh, really it's something like more deeper than just to say, okay, yeah, he did a little bit of whatever music theory here and there. But so I got into that um, because via Gottschalk. Uh, so when I did my jazz masters in in 2015 to 17 um, at NYU, I um, I said in jazz history, you know, I was with with the direct back then the director Dave Schroeder, great guy. Um, we were talking about you know, and in, in, in class we at the same time, literally the same time, we said like, do you know? Gottschalk? Do you know anything about Gottschalk? And I was like, man, I, that's impossible that we would say this at the same time because <laughs> I was telling I was telling him about, and in, in class I was talking about, you know, the education of the 19th century uh, pianist composers and also Gottschalk's training because at the time I had a, done a little bit of research about Gottschalk. So and then we went on, went on, and I somewhere I read like, I read this article of Rudy Blesch. I think it's even included in the uh, in the edition of all the piano works of Joplin, you can you know there's a little passage where it says like Joplin owned uh, he he had a uh, this Yadasson manual of counterpoint and I was like, what the heck, Joplin had the manual of counterpoint he possessed the manual of counterpoint by Yadasson and I knew of course you know my my, my music theory studies etc I knew about Yadasson and the Leipzig Conservatory, but I was like how on earth did this treatise make it you know to the Midwest, uh, and 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 why did and and how did Joplin, you know, how did it influence him? Maybe, I mean, I I cannot say exactly how it influenced him, but I I can only make educated guesses again. But if you look at his music, and when I was young, you know, when I was seven, eight years old, I played ragtime. You know, my, my piano teachers gave me ragtime, and it, it always felt so kind of it it didn't feel too correct, right? In a way, yeah, 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 and and it also felt so classical. You know, it it felt. Uh, as you know, to be you know, syncopated, you could figure the bass again.